back to Todd's Family Farm. Welcome to Fall Farmathon episode three. So, third day of harvest. Today we're still harvesting corn. The beans are just about ready, but we think we're gonna switch to those next week. So, this morning we're gonna go over to the barn while we're waiting for the, it frosted again last night, so while we're waiting for the frost to dry off of the corn, we're gonna go over to the barn and we're gonna get our auger, big auger set up to our big bin and that's where we're gonna be putting all the beans that are over around the barn into all of our beans actually, but most of our beans are over there already. So we're gonna get the auger set up to the bean bin this year, take a couple tractors over there, get barn chores done. Then we should be able to get started. So we got through the night without anything breaking down. So hopefully it will have a little bit more of a smoother day today, hopefully. We'll see, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna come back here, get the new machine shed opened up, and get the 44. We gotta get it unhooked, and we're gonna go ahead and get it started because it's a pretty cool morning out. So, go ahead and get that warming up. Samuel. And the 44 is what we use to run the big auger down at the big bin. So, there she is. She's hooked to the bat wing right now, but we're gonna get it unhooked. We're getting her all fueled up to go down and run the auger. Okay, we have arrived down here at the bin. So right there's our big auger and our big bin that we're going to put it up to. So here we go. This might be quite the job. It usually takes a little while. So hopefully it goes smoothly today. Okay, we are up here at the barn to do chores now. Papa and Dad are going to be feeding a bale of hay. So, uh, we have been feeding the cows some hay and supplementing the other animals too as needed. So just because their pastures are so low that it's not getting them enough. So, we yeah, have been feeding the cows some hay. They aren't going through it very fast right now. But, because they can still have some grass off the pastures, but they're going to get another bale in there today. So, that's one of the things we have to do. We're going to do chores, feed hay, and then we'll get the auger set up, pull the bean head out. We've already gone over that a little bit this year. It didn't need much. We just replaced a couple fingers on it. And I can show you what those are once you get down there. But we have one more finger that needs to be replaced, which we're going to do today. And then that should be ready to go to the field. So, Getting along pretty good. Um, you're turning the weaned calves out into the middle lot. Look at her. She acts like a little bowl. Okay, we got the cows fed up there in our old hay ring, and it is almost to fall apart it's really old so we had been looking for new hay rings but they were really really expensive but then we finally found one that was a reasonable price so we got us a new hay ring which is we are gonna feed the calves which we turned down to this lot we're gonna feed them one of the bales that we bought earlier in the year it's really good quality hey we're gonna give them a bale in the new hay ring so it's nice to have, and it should last a long time. Okay, we've gotten hay fed to the cows. We have gotten Flossie turned out with the other cows and the calves turned out into the lot. So everything should be good. We got morning chores done. So now we can come down here and get the auger set up to the bin. Okay, we just finished doing a little bit of greasing on the auger here before we lift it up. 
doing some oil, we put some oil in there too to make sure that it is maintained good before we run it for the season. So now we're going to get it hooked up, we're going to raise it up and get it put to the top of that bin. Okay, dad is way up there on top of the bin. Got the hole opened at the top so we can get the auger put down in there. Here we go. This auger ha is a little bit of a different style from the one over at the farm. Uh, it has a hopper that hangs up there and then it comes down and folds out that you just pull over and you can unload onto. So we usually run, we don't have to have the gravity wagon set up against this one as like a giant hopper. For this one we just can pull a gravity wagon over it and unload onto it so it's pretty nice. Okay. Getting the bean head out. Okay, we're gonna unhook it and leave it here until Monday when we bring the combine over, then we can get it hooked up to the combine. And I'll show you, it's pretty well ready to go, I think. These things are called the fingers on it, and as this spins, um, these come out and they pull the beans in, but we have to replace one of these. So this is what it looks like the new one that we're going to be replacing, so I'm going to get this fixed. Yes. Okay, everybody, I have something to show you. So this was Tom's bed, okay, this towel. Well then he upgraded to a towel in a box and he lays there like all day now sleeping in the garage. He's so cute. So this chicken has taken Tom's towel and now she lays up here on it. Our animals are so spoiled. So weird. But you're so cute too. Okay, we are back from the barn now. It is almost a quarter after 12, so it took a little while to get stuff done over there, but the, putting up the auger went smoother and faster than I was thinking it would, so that was nice. And now we are back here getting ready to start in the field. We are having a traditional, something that mama makes every year during harvest time and only during harvest time, but this is harvest corn chowder. It is delicious. It is so good, so... Really looking forward to this. I'm very, very hungry. So we're going to eat this, eat some lunch, and then we are going to head to the field and hopefully not break anything today. We'll see. Delicious. Okay, we are rolling in the field there, heading out there. I am left here again to run the auger so they're gonna get some corn started now and I got to get the dryer started when they get back so I'm learning that getting slightly better at it I hope and I haven't it hasn't blown up yet so I'd say we're doing good but now I'm gonna be getting a dry corn sample to see what the corn is testing at when it comes out of the auger so again here's our moisture tester Okay, so I got some of the freshest corn that came out. This should be pretty dry. We will test it and see where we're at. On corn test. See where we're at here. So we keep a pretty close an eye, eye on what the corn coming out of the dryer is testing at. This is testing at 17.9%, so we need to turn the, so we should probably turn the temperature on the dryer up a little bit because uh, it, it needs to be down to at least 17% is what we're aiming at right now. 
so uh, I'll tell dad and we will adjust the dryer accordingly. Good combine just unloaded a load into the gravity wagon so the wet bin is starting to get some corn in it so we can start getting the system fired up for the day. Okay they're back at it. You guys can come with me to uh, start the dryer. So see here fun okay i'm definitely like still a beginner at this so if any of you out there are like expert dryer runners don't pay a lot of attention to what i'm gonna do so we gotta turn everything off have to turn it to this and then have to turn it to this and just like that the dryer it started. Now that's just the beginning. So what that does is it gets the system running and then that turns the wet corn auger, which is this on, and that starts pulling corn out of the wet bin up into the auger. Okay, the dryer is full now, so we're going to start the blower. That, very noisy. And my camera keeps freezing up and I don't know how much of what I was recording actually was recording, but explain what I did. So I just started the blower, which is that big fan, makes a bunch of noise. I started the burner. So now we are waiting for this to get up to temperature. And once once the temp dryer gets up to temperature, we wait for the corn to get up temperature and then we'll start the dry conveyors which will start taking the dry corn out from the bottom of the auger so that's what we're doing now well everyone i started the dryer i got everything going i came down here to get my daily diet mountain dew and that is when i made the horrifying discovery that we are out of diet mountain dews so I have a Pepsi today. I don't usually drink Pepsi because there's Mountain Dew. And harvest is like the only time of year besides when we bail our neighbor's hay that I get a Mountain Dew. So I am very disappointed, but a Pepsi is gonna have to do. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check on the dryer now. The corn should be up to the temperature that it's supposed to be. start running it out so I'm gonna turn the dry conveyors on go over and make sure they started okay it is running so now I can get back to my Pepsi which it's not as easy to look forward to as a Mountain Dew, but, you know, at least it's something. This doesn't have the same sound like a Mountain Dew. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, they've arrived with another load. I would not Pepsi deny it. Dude. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll ask them to sponsor me. Okay, well, they're coming in for the day. We have the gravity wagon loaded, the weapons full, and the auger cart is loaded. 